See? The husband is very excited about the crafting. He is going to pick 20 pages for me to use in a magazine collage. Okay, first let me say that I did ask my husband to find me things. And I cut them out and maybe even a few other things on the page. But he found very small things. So, I have been wanting to do two things. First off, I've been wanting to use this Vicky Booten paper, which is, um, it's called, what is it called? White Foundations and Girlfriend Knows Paper because she has been a paper artist for a long time. She says it's super heavy and it is super, oh my gosh, that's one page. Wow, that's amazing. So it's super, that's crazy nice paper. All right, I'm sold, Vicki Booten. Um, and I'm going to do it for my real journal, like my, my me journal. Um, so I want it to be this page size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it to this length. You might want to use a paper cutter so it's perfectly straight. That is not something I aspire to. But then, it's a real, that's a piece of paper, Vicky Booten. Okay, number one, is it okay? It's okay. So number two, I want to make it the right size to fit in here. So I'm going to have a flip over. So right there is going to be a flip over. All right, I had to pick one side to match, and I think this is the side I didn't cut, so that side fits. And then I'll just cut this side to match, right? Right. Okay, so let's put my, my book back together, which goes this way. Okay, so now I know my page is the right size. Ooh, what's this? That's a good one. Okay, so we're gonna put this in here. And we are gonna get a bone folder. So you could use a pen, right? And make that a good thing. I have what's called a bone folder, and that's meant to make things flat. So this is really good paper. All right, so I am going to make this project on this whole inside of this paper. I don't know what I'm yet I'm what I'm doing with the other side, but here's some thoughts I have. So let's take all the words because I think it might be fun to use some words, but I'm not there yet. I'm not anywhere close to there yet. Okay, and we have tomatoes and we have a whole bunch of little stuff. So I'm going to start to pull the little stuff out. Words, oh, I like that guy, little stuff. This is not too bad. Okay, this was so little, I couldn't cut it out. We have fishing, I couldn't cut it out. Tomatoes, okay, I'm gonna put the tomatoes and the eggs together. Whew, whose idea was this? Unfortunately, it was mine. Okay, so we have a house. We have um, some other little things, which I think we can use, never fear. This I feel like is water, right? This I thought could be graphically a cool picture, so I kept it. This is amazing. And then this is gonna be my idea. First thing I think I wanna do is I wanna cut a really weird shape to her face. And then I may want to put her body on backwards. I don't even know. I love her as a focal point because I want her, so I gotta think this through. So we're doing this together. So I have a waterfall into a pool so I could make a whole pool, right? I have all kinds of water I could use and trees to put around the edge. I could put this pool house 
over here because I can cut her off anywhere I want. So this is Johnny's pool house. I could put water in here. I was thinking maybe she could cry into the pool. I don't know, that just keeps coming to my mind, right? So I could, and then I wanna have like different parts on the edge. I've really been trying to do that and I've been terrible at it. I want to make like a border with cool stuff. So this is gonna be like a little deck of card hands. Here are some of his things. Oh, I think the Fisher people could be in the water. Uh-oh, I think this is too much down there. I think this may have to go up here. Okay. Because I really want this water to be fun. The other thing I could do is I could do this as a real thing and then use this side piece. I might do that to do the fun part. Okay, so we have fun things over here. I feel like this is kind of, can be a really powerful piece. I don't know about that. This, I think all these guys could go, like the, the lighthouse could be up here. The golfing could be down here. And then the water all over here, right? I have all this water. So I could make this, I don't want the, the swimmy girl but I could blend this into this water and I could have palm trees all around and make this like a water scene. But I feel like part of it is, is her crying into the water. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to take off her one eye, which will make her face look even less normal but I'm following the, the kind of feeling of that. I'm gonna keep her lips. Okay. All right, so she, I need to take a little bit more off her schnoz. Cause you can still sorta of see the other side of her face. Ooh, what if I put her, okay, hold on. What if I put her on top of the house and that's why she's tipped? Ooh, that could be an idea, right? Do this and have her follow the, oh, that's perfect, the pitch of the house. And I can cheat her way up here. Okay. Oh, I like that. Okay, so then I'm gonna have, is this? Okay, I'm gonna outline anyways, so I'm not that worried about it. Do we want kind of, I think I want red in the sky. Like, I don't want this to be real looking. That would be weird. Okay, so we're gonna put red in the sky behind her. That's gonna be the background. I got a bunch. And then I have eggs. Do I kind of make these flowers behind her? Huh. That actually doesn't look terrible. Okay. Okay, and some people like to do borders. I don't always do a border. I'm fine with having a border on the other flippy page. Okay, I am going to cut out some of this other stuff and start putting this together and I will be back when we get to that part. But I kind of like where we're going for right this second. I think there's a bunch of weird stuff happening that makes me happy. And some real stuff, too. Okay, so now I have, um, uh, you'll see in another video, I used distress paints to make this background. 
And I think it turned out amazing. And now we're gonna start gluing some of this stuff down. I need to make sure my glue is here. Um, so I am gonna start with tomatoes in the back. Because Johnny had tomatoes. Oh, I actually want the curve of the tomato to go on the curve of her face. This is the challenge where I let my husband pick things. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so this is going to be, she's going along this house line like this. And then we're going to cut off part of her head. But look how nicely this tomato smudge goes right around her face. Isn't that cool? Okay. So we got our tomato smudge on there. I need another big tomato for over here. I really do like tomatoes. They have really good dimension and they add nice color. Okay, all righty, all righty. We're not ready, quite ready to put her down yet, but we're thinking about it. Okay, big one over here. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that I'm gonna use everything because that wasn't the rule, but I can only use the pictures that he picked out. All right, now I need to get this moving down into her so it's not so, I do like the numbers though. Do we wanna just do a behind? Why is that such a pointy tomato? I actually love the color in that tomato. Okay, we're gonna do that because I don't wanna cover up all those numbers. I actually do like those numbers and how they came out. My brayer is volunteering. It must want to do some gel plating or something. Okay, let's do this. Get a little angle going. All right, all right. Um, this guy we could do over here. There's a delivery truck, you're right. You're right. I think this is a little bit of my version of having a border because I don't always do a border, um, but I do like stuff to be framed nicely. And I know when I was new it used to drive me nuts that people would make a background like this and then like literally cover 99% of it up. But the reason you do that is, is you could tell before when we were doing this, if it was stark white behind there, it would be very, very obvious that this is, um, you know, a little different, a little strange. But with the, um, with the color in the back, it kind of makes it seem blended, more, more integrated. Okay, I think I can put my house and my lady here. I want to figure out if I'm gonna keep the back of her head white, which I don't think I'm gonna do. I think it's very distracting. So I am gonna keep around her ear white because she seems to have a little shine of white around her. Okay, there you go. All right. She really is quite disturbing. Desi does not like the um, robot lady. Even if her very special dad, Johnny and Desi are two peas in a pod. They are buddies. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, 
My idea for her is that she is going to be crying tears that come down into the lake down here by the lake house. Okay. So we have to cut out, I have to cut out a bunch of little stuff. I'll be right back. Okay, I've been putting some of the little bitty stuff together and I couldn't do it all with you because it's very small, but I'm getting ready. So I put the, the waterfall here and then the, like I'm thinking of it like a river coming out here. And then I have one of the dogs down here. He's at the camp, but he has his sunglasses on. All right, very cute. Okay, so this little thing was extra from one of the pages Johnny picked, but I thought it would be cute kind of to put on the balcony. We have to see if we like it. I did not like it going across straight, but we can see if we like it going across with the cute little divots. So, I kind of feel like that makes that little area festive. We're gonna put that right on there. Kind of a little holiday banner. Okay. All right, now we got the bikers. They're gonna be down here. And they're riding along the edge of the stream. Right, way down. So this is the top, she's the top. And as we go, everything keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Oh, we got our lighthouse. I kind of think I want it right there. Like on the edge by the river. We have our boat people, some eggs, dog, sunglasses. Oh, we gotta put this in here. We're gonna put our phones together. And they're gonna go in the back of the monster truck. All right, now we have to figure out, do we want, oh, I think I want that there. So we are gonna put the monster truck down here on the road, and I will probably go ahead and get some road kind of thing going down there, right? So he's right behind the, oh, we can just squeeze that in. He's right behind the bikers. Okay, now I have some palm trees, which we could do beside the road. Ooh, that's kind of cute, isn't it? Ooh, can we make this the, oh my gosh, that fits there perfectly. We're gonna put this one right here to make that transition less weird. Oh my gosh, what a treasure. It fits exactly in there. Right, and kind of frames that. Oh, I couldn't be more pleased with that. Okay. All right, ooh, cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna put these two palm trees up here like little shrubs, maybe, see, I don't want them over here because this is the river. I'm gonna put my two palm trees up here. I have my guy cutting the tomato here. Okay, we're gonna do this. I think this is too distracting. I am going to use this as an earring. Oh, 
beautiful. I kind of like how this isn't so busy up there anymore. I thought there was a dog. Was it him? Might have been him. Okay, I think that's it for now. None of these other things were things that Johnny liked. They were just little bits that I pulled out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna doodle some. I'm gonna see what oh darn it. Hold on. Hold hold the phone. Look at that doggle. Does he need a doggle friend? Maybe not, maybe. I don't know. Okay, hold the phone because we want to do some teardrops, right? I want her to be crying teardrops into the river, right? And she's the one that makes the river the river. All right, I need another piece of bigger blue. Like that. All right, so we have, we have now, we have really cool things with the, the crying lady. I'm gonna do the doodles and I'll be back. Okay, this is the end of the, my husband got to pick out what I was gonna do. And there's a lot of light coming in here. I think this is probably gonna be super bright. But what I did was I made the big thing. So there's, like a waterfall and a pond and the robot crying. All these are tomatoes. There is the guy holding the knife, one of the little doggies. This is a earring made out of a keychain. This is a tomato, that's a tomato. There's a pen hiding here, little banner. Doggy with sunglasses, people on the bikes, the, um, Monster truck with the phones in it, the lighthouse. Did you see the lighthouse, Johnny? And the fishing people. So that is my husband got to pick what I did challenge.